Let's get this look started. You guys know that yesterday I talked about the Jordana uh, uh, quick eyebrow pencil is in the trash. It did not work. So I did pick up the... Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. I just started talking. Didn't say hey. Didn't say who I was. I'm Kimberly. You guys already know that. Um, AKA amateur makeup girl. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I picked up... Uh, what is this? The Wet and Wild. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. I do super okay here's my the wet and wild retractable brow pencil and i picked up the wrong shade of course this is ash brown this was all they had left i would use this more so towards the front of my brow don't worry that will get cleaned up i'm just connecting them to make sure i mean i'm just combing through just to make sure the product has been distributed i had to go in with my anastasia uh, I need some more dip, uh, dip brow pomade in dark brown. I like the cream of this. This is one of my favorite all times. We once you buy it, you will have it for about a year. So I use the pencils thinking they're gonna be quicker, but in actuality, I think the dip brow pomade is quicker. I don't know. So yeah, I'm I'm not too sure about this pencil. Maybe if I pick it up in the right shade, it's like uh, I can use it towards the front of the brow. It's like one of those um thicker little yeah nah we gonna we gonna uh <laughs> we just gonna leave this for the front of the brow um uh, yeah not nah, i don't know we'll see but i won't be using it i think i'm just gonna go ahead and go back and pick up a uh, brow pomade and my sephora pencil that i like to use which i threw that away as well god i've been just throwing stuff out today but yeah you guys know i like the sephora retractable brow pencil it just doesn't last long so that's why i think i'm going back to because by the time i buy the they're 12 dollars a piece the pomade is 20 bucks i think but i can have a pomade for almost a year so yeah i think i'm gonna skip on just trying to figure out better ways to spend money so that's what that's about um or just be a little more conservative in how i'm spending money because that just sometimes you just gotta step back and say that doesn't make any sense um there's just not enough product in this brow pencil this 12 dollars from sephora even though i like it but if i have to buy it twice a month or once a month that's 12 times 12 when i could just buy the pomade once once a year so yeah do the math anywho when i come back of course you know guys know i played in the festival palette yesterday from julia's place i'm gonna play in it again today i want to say pull out your deuce palette if you have it um and when we come back we'll get started on this lovely okay outfit. we're gonna start off with berry mousse from the deuce palette and i'm just gonna get that blended in right here just to the little top half and kind of go ahead and create it underneath the brow bone concentrating it right right there okay i know it doesn't look like it makes a difference but it does when it's when you start talking about blending in the other shades okay yeah 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 on the same brush i just kind of swashed it off a little bit we are actually gonna jump into the festival palette and let's just do something different let's i think i'm gonna try to do something neutral We'll see. So let's start off with um, Mamu, Mamu, Wu. Now y'all know, I don't know how to pronounce it. If you know how to pronounce these names, I am so proud of you. I just can't. <clears throat> You're gonna keep it simple today. Can y'all believe that? Do a simple eye. Say yay. And let's take a little bit of in jai. Gonna take that Emma Fluffier brush right here into the crease. Bending it up a little bit. I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. So get that built up, kind of get a good intensity on it, okay? And especially right here in the outer little part of the region there. I'm going to take a little bit of Issafa, 
just a little bit and just concentrate it right here in the uh i'm actually just gonna pat it in see if we can get away with doing something a little bit different today I'm actually creating a harsh line within it just because we put the pink down the NJ. So this won't be as bright, but it'll help us create a little more definition. Okay. Get that top part blended out. So make sure you get that top part blended out with the pink. The brush that we used that had the pink on it. Yeah, I just want to get all of it blended well. Okay. On a little pointed brush, I'm going to take Isify and just deepen the inner and outer. Well, you know what? Skip the inner part. We're just going to concentrate it right here on the outer. I'm going to fix that in just a second. Because I'm trying to see if this look, if what I want to do is going to make turn out okay. Because I done went from simple to not simple, simple anymore. <laughs> this is going to be our Valentine's Day look. <laughs> to clean up my eyelid of space, um, I am going in with some concealer. And I'm just using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Warm Honey to kind of carve out this space because um I'm gonna go in another kind of a different direction than what we were going in before okay let me true valentine <laughs> um, yeah so i'm using one of my favorite brushes to kind of get this blended out and because the red kind of took over a little bit but we're gonna Clean up the lid space and get us a good eye look out of this today. Okay, flipping my brush over. I'm gonna actually take Yuli. Yuli or you life the white. And just use it as my lid shade. Just to see how. Yep. I'm gonna use it as my lid shade today. get the Valentine's Day reference <laughs> and we'll add some of the pink and stuff back in to um, make it make sense in a little bit once I get this spread out this is dry no um, not wet Taking a little bit of NJ, which is our pink, getting that uh, kind of blended into the white. Okay, it's pretty. Guys, know I'm extra. So, yeah, just keep getting that blended up till you like it. You know, the intensity that you like. I like this, it's really, really pretty. I might have to add a little, you guys know I might have to add a little black or something right there to kind of create a little more definition in the little outer V. But I like the pink and the white. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of the black from the Saharan 
first one, Chad, you guys know that I always kind of like to add a little bit of, um, you know, just definition. And we'll go back over it with the little red and pink to kind of make it not be so intense, but just needed a little something for this outer little V. And I'm actually creating a little bit of the V with this little pencil brush. Yeah, we'll get that blended out. We'll get the red blended back into it. It's pretty. I like it. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I like it. Whoop, whoop. Thought I had went a little too far there for a minute, but I didn't. <laughs> Because I want to try it. The Kat Von D did not work as a concealer for me um, yesterday when I tried it. So what I'm going to try to do is mix it with the Maybelline Superstay. Um, only because, the, like I said before, the Superstay is super duper warm. And I don't want to go buy another foundation color to make it work. So I'm trying to find a combination from what I have that will make it work. And since the... Kevin D is just a little too light for me. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of concocting on my finger on the back of my hand right now. So I'm mixing the Super Stay and the Kat Von D. And I already know this is probably gonna be overly full coverage. <laughs> but I'm gonna blend it out with my damp beauty blender, okay? So the Kat Von D was uh deep 71. And then, you know, this is 355 Cocoa from um, the Maybelline. Because I do like the Maybelline. I just don't want to go buy another. Uh, and since I was given the Kat Von D, I just want to try to see if I can make it work. And this may be a combo that will work for me. So let me get it blended out, and I'll be right back. So, hey, you guys. This is the final look for me today. Um, Yes, I'm going to go outside like this. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I won't be trying a wing again. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you need to do it. I don't know for me because I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe do it after I finish all my concealing and foundation and everything. Because it's just messing up. Mm. Anyway, I know that's user error. But yeah, um, I like everything. I like the look. I like... Um, the way it turned out. I'm kind of feeling the foundation mix. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I feel like you can still see a little bit of my glow through the foundation, which I like. Uh, lip gloss is pretty. Thank you, know my tea. Mm, it's one of the Vivid Hot Lacquers from Maybelline. This is number 76. I cannot read. I think it says Obsessed is the color. So yeah, just want to do something a little different um, on the lips this time. Uh, if the color can stay off my teeth. I know I need to run my finger, but I'll do that after I get off um, camera. So let me know what you guys think. Yeah, this is a great Valentine's Day look, I think, anyway. Because, you know what, it incorporated some pink, some red, some white. Uh, so thanks, let's let's just give it up to Juvia's place. Um... I'm moving this weekend, so I don't know that I'll get to film again. I'm going to try to put one more video up tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and that way, um, if I don't make it Monday, I will have done three this week. So, yeah. Um, cool. So, let me know your thoughts on that. Really sure. I probably should have put... Maybe a liquid lipstick down first. But I wanted the shine to be there. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I don't want to get all on my teeth, though. Hmm. It's not opaque, of course. Maybe dry it down a little bit. Hmm. Not as much shine. But anyway, I could gloss it up, but I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway, let me know what you all think. And I want to thank everybody for the wonderful um, prayers and thoughts and messages yesterday. Um, I really sincerely appreciate it. I know you guys don't have to comment and uh, definitely don't have to um, 
you know, say anything, but I appreciate all of the prayers um, and all of the thoughts. I just really, really do. Um, and we are going to get back on track here. As soon as I get moved, we're going to have better lighting and hopefully um, we can get a few more videos out during the week. We can try. I can try. Um, especially if you, it seems like you guys are really enjoying um, the makeup. So if you have not jumped off into the color arena yet, I'm going to say let's do that together this year. Um, just be a little more bold in what you're doing um, as far as um, your eyes. And what's the worst? Who? What's the worst that can happen? You, you end up liking it. That's what I think will happen. So until the next time, I will see you guys on the next turn. Thanks, YouTube. Bye-bye.